When mowing your lawn, mulching is a great alternative to cutting and collecting. The grass clippings are finely cut and left on the ground, acting as a natural fertiliser as it breaks down. This helps create a lush and healthy lawn, and also means that emptying the grass box is a thing of the past. We have a number of dedicated mulching mowers in the still range, such as the RMA2RV or the RM4RTP. But did you know that a wide range of our standard cut and collect models can be converted into a mulching mower with one of our mulch kits? Still mulch kits contain a mulching blade and a mulching plug. Mulching blades have two stepped cutting edges on each side, meaning each grass clipping is cut multiple times before dropping to the ground. This helps the clipping to break down quicker and it also makes it less visible on the lawn surface. The mulch plug blocks the grass shoots and keeps the clippings within the mowing deck for further cutting. The mulch kit required for your specific still lawnmower will depend on the width of the deck and whether it's a petrol or cordless model. For example, the RM443 has a 43cm deck and therefore needs the AMK043 mulch kit. If you're unsure, visit still.co.uk for more information or get in touch with your nearest still approved dealer. Before starting, make sure you have the following. A sturdy pair of work gloves, a wrench, a torque wrench, Loctite 243 and a block of wood for preventing the blade from moving. If you're missing some of the tools required, your still dealer would be happy to fit the mulch kit for you. The first step is preparation. If it's a petrol mower, remove the spark plug boot and tuck it away. Make sure the fuel tank is empty or for cordless models, the battery or fuse is removed and find a flat level surface to work on. Your lawnmower user manual will explain exactly how to put the mower in the correct maintenance position. This includes removing the grass box, setting the cutting height to one, folding the handle, opening the discharge flap, and finally upending the machine. To remove the blade, place the block of wood in the mowing deck to prevent the blade from spinning. Unscrew the bolt by turning anti-clockwise and remove along with the washer while taking care not to come into contact with the sharp edges of the blade. The nut and washer can now be discarded as the mulch kits will include new ones. Now is a good time to clean the blade contact surface with a brush or damp cloth. It may be worth keeping hold of the blade for future use. Our multi-spray is ideal for offering corrosion protection whilst it's in storage. Some mulch blades come in two halves like this. Fit them together like so with the lip fitting snugly over the opposite blade. Other mulch blades come as one complete unit, in which case you can skip this step. The next step is to prepare the nut supplied with the mulching kit. Place the washer on the nut, taking care to ensure it's in the correct orientation. Then apply Loctite 243 evenly to the thread of the nut. To fit the mulching blade, place the blade securely in the locating lugs with the curved wings pointing upwards towards the mower and place the block of wood like so. Tighten the nut in a clockwise direction then use the torque wrench to tighten up the nut to between 60 and 65 newton meters. For electric models, the torque setting is 10 to 15 newton meters, and always refer to the manual if you're unsure. With the mulch blade fitted, it's time to remove the wood and place the mower on all four wheels, ready for the mulch plug to be fitted. The mulch plug needs to be inserted in the chute beneath the discharge flap here. Insert the mulch plug and press from above until the retaining lugs click into place on the housing. And with that, you're almost good to go. All that's left to do is refit the spark plug boot and refuel. The mulch kit user manual is supplied in the box and is available on the shell.co.uk website. The user manual for your lawnmower is also a handy reference for removing blades correctly too. For more information, visit shell.co.uk or visit your nearest still approved dealer.